We have this assumption of war and who fights it. And our image is a man in uniform. What motivates them? Well, it must be politics. That must be why they want to go to war. And when you look at the 21st century, it just doesn't hold true. Today, warfare is waged by new entities. They are known as private military corporations. They are loyal to no country, available to the highest bidder. And for the past 20 years, they've been steadily privatizing war. I started Blackwater uh, as a way to stay connected to the SEAL teams. Blackwater had the right culture, and we ran very hard when our customers called us. More than 100,000 missions, no one under our care ever killed or injured. We took over a remote base one time, and we did it with 25 guys. And we replaced 166 soldiers, and that's why the company grew very quickly. Initially contracted as support for the armed forces, PMCs are quietly taking over combat as governments, regimes, and companies around the world wield them as deadly tactical weapons. Despite their prominence in the headlines, little is known about this hidden industry. We wanted to know more, so we set out on a global journey to witness their operations firsthand. To be honest, I left the army because the money wasn't good enough for what I was getting paid to do. Why would I do five years in Iraq in the army and earn 120 grand when I can do two years in Iraq and earn 400 grand? Now, certainly in my era, anybody who was any good in the army isn't in the army anymore. As of March 13th, 2013, private contractors represented 62% of the total forces in Afghanistan, setting a chilling new precedent in the nature of military occupation. It amazes me how many people there are out there who are willing to get involved in this kind of thing. I can make a dozen phone calls, and within a month, we'll have a 1,000 guys. In the 10 years after 9-11, the US government has spent more than $3.3 trillion in private defense contracts. And all that money doesn't just buy the world's best soldiers. It buys access to the world's most advanced weapons. Feeding off of global instability, PMCs have thrived. In fact, the third largest company in the world is a private military corporation, and most people have never heard of them. The day of the private military has arrived. The only question that remains is what happens when the people you pay to protect you get a better offer. One big concern is a question of allegiance. Who exactly are they working for? We've seen them work for human rights groups, environmental groups, drug cartels, terrorist groups. They cover the entire moral spectrum. Some people argue that they're already well regulated. That's just, that's just false. Which leads you to wonder, with advanced weaponry, highly trained soldiers, billions of dollars at their disposal, and few regulations, what happens if they stop taking orders and start taking over? That was insane, OMG, holy crap, the world is being taken over by mercenary corporations of bad mamma jammas, holy smokes, whoa, that was crazy, and the thing that really got me about the uh, whole story and premise line of the new game was that, um, you know, the third largest corporation in the world is a PMC, and no one even knows that they even exist. And I mean, like, up there with Walmart, that is insane. That's so mind-boggling. But, and that, and also that, um, you know, all this stuff is going on present day and not, you know, uh, 20, 30 years into the future as they, you know, portray the game. Or I guess they just wanted to do like a futuristic game. I don't know. But I just thought it was insane. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and, uh, you know, about this topic. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for upcoming epicness and uh, next-gen gameplays. And I got Watch Dogs coming soon. I'm all about that. I'm going to do a Let's Play. And, oh, look at this nice knife feed. Pow! Get smacked. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, say hi, Maxie. No, you gotta say hi. Say hi. <laughs> He's being shy this morning. He just got up. But, uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Until next time, enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments. Alright, later, guys. Boom! We'll end it on that feed.